What's going on today, guys? Uh, today we're gonna be doing a review on uh, at least these three, uh, Milwaukee Radio and Bluetooth. Um, we're gonna be doing the best bang for the buck and the best one for the application that you're gonna be using it for. Um, <clears throat> as of now, we've got the Bluetooth uh, speaker itself. Um, the part number is 259220. Uh, if you go on Home Depot's website, uh, it's $80, $79.99. Uh, that's with no battery. Um, pretty simple in itself. Uh, you can charge your phone with it. If you have uh, the USB port, um, you can put uh, any kind of battery on, on it. If we get a battery, uh, the one that it comes with, if you buy the battery, uh, is the small, it's probably the 2.0. Uh, if you do that, it does sit, I'll put it here, it sits nice and flat on everything. So when, when it's on it, it's flat, as you can see there. Um, when you have a bigger battery on it. It does still stand up on itself, but it only stands up on the battery. So it does and can tip over if you have it set up like that. Um, for this one, uh, I would say this one's like a good for the house or if you're working in a room yourself uh, drywall or any kind of application like that paint or anything um, or maybe like a smaller garage it does it does pretty good for an $80 um, Milwaukee I'll say $80 Milwaukee because uh, everybody knows that Milwaukee is a little more expensive than any other radio of this size with a battery um, <clears throat> so this one like I said would work good um, for a single room, maybe a hallway or so, this one will work really well. Um, the second one is the Bluetooth speaker radio. Uh, it does have a small antenna. Um, it doesn't, I'm in the garage now and I'm actually in the back of the garage. So if I were to put the radio on, I wouldn't get any kind of service at all. Um, it wouldn't pick up anything from the outside. So, um, like I said, I'm in the garage, which is below the house. Um, <clears throat> but if you were, if I was probably in the house uh, upstairs, then I would probably get a, a better signal. Um, but I wouldn't use it for a radio myself. Um, I would hook up the phone to it. Um, just like the Bluetooth. Uh, it is an M12. Uh, you put a smaller one in it and the smaller one fits in just fine. Uh, the bigger one fits in there just fine as well. Uh, it doesn't pop out so it sits flush as well which is really nice. Uh, it does really nice because it's got that, that handle on the inside and then it also has spacing here so if you wanted to hang it up somewhere put uh, you know a, a wire in it or something and and hang it from the ceiling or something like that if you didn't want to have it on the ground uh, you could do that that's what's really nice about that as well um, the part number for this one is 295120 um, this one is $130 by itself on the Home Depot website. Uh, this one's nice because it's got a charger in the back as well, so you can plug your phone in. Um, I honestly can't be sure if it came with um, a adapter, an AC adapter with it. Um, it might have because I've got probably 10 adapters just laying around. Uh, so it probably came with the adapter. Um, I will put a, uh, the link in the description with everything you guys need to know on this and if it comes with the adapter itself on the back of it. It has 
everything you need to know as far as battery uh, and um, yeah, the battery level and stuff like that. Um, for this one, I mainly use in the garage. Um, this one, uh, myself, is probably best bang for the buck. Uh, like I said, it was uh, $129.99. Um, it does uh, keep the time and uh, the time on there, and you can uh, search through the uh, radio stations and its uh, LED right here. Um, and then it also has on the bottom of it where you can put uh, that AAA. Yeah, two AAA batteries in there. So if you want to keep the time and your battery runs out unplug your battery it doesn't lose the memory for the time which is really nice um, I put the batteries in there a long time ago well over a year ago and normally I have a battery in there anyway uh, just because this is my go-to for the garage uh, the garage is a uh, it's like a two and a half car garage so I think it goes up to like 20 as far as the volume and I think I keep it on like seven if I want to want it to hit pretty good um so if you have you know put this in the living room or if you're working in the area of outside uh this one is the best in my opinion um <clears throat> it's loud enough for sure it's nice it's got the date um you do have presets on there and um, set your clock, uh, AM, FM, so that's real nice. Uh, if you have it hooked up to Bluetooth, you can just scroll through the Bluetooth. Uh, you don't have to get on your phone. So this one would be the one that I would purchase. Um, like I said, <clears throat> if you're in uh, the living room, you could hear it from any, any part of the house. Uh, if you, you know, big garage or uh, a, a out in the work site or something like that. This is probably the one I would bring because it's compact, it's durable, the handle's really nice. But let's talk about the, the big one here. Um, this is uh, a 18 volt. Um, this part number is uh, 2792-20. Uh, this bad boy is or $250, I should say. So this one is Bluetooth capability. Um, it's got the presets on there. It's a little dirty. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's got the clock. Um, on the top of it, it's got a place where you can put your phone. And I'm using my phone right now, so I'll use the case for the phone sits in there really nicely uh, it's not going to go anywhere it's got padding down here and it's got padding here so you're not going to scratch anything and if it bumps it it's not going to move it um, it's got a nice see if I can tip it a nice uh, holder probably two inches deep by I'll say 10 inches wide by three inches long or yeah um, just screwdrivers I've got Milwaukee pen and then I put this in there as well which is the adapter for it um, yeah. so if you wanted to charge the phone you could leave the cord in there which is really nice uh, like I said you can charge the phone it's got a nice locking here so nothing's gonna fall out if you want to grab it or throw it in the truck uh, nothing's gonna fall out here which is really nice um, let's take a look at the back uh, this is one of the only ones that's gonna have a cord um, but uh, the cord storage is kind of normal your typical vacuum uh, storage here um, the back of it folds down here so this is nice and protected if you throw it in the back of the truck and it's kind of jogging around you're not gonna have any issues with the connectors or anything like that uh, hitting anything <clears throat> so let's plug one in so it's gonna fit in there 
nice and neat. Um, so you can put yeah in, any of the M18 batteries on the back of there. Uh, it does have three nice handles on it. And then you've got your carrying one on the top. Um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, should have uh, the batteries as well in it. Mm. Where, because as of right now, there's no, um, there's no M18 battery in it right now. And the clock is all flashing on. So, probably should have looked that up before and but anyway um, in here as well it does have the plug-in for your charger and then it also has your phone uh, jack connector as well so if you uh, didn't want to do Bluetooth uh, just store your phone in here and then hook it through uh, the speaker for your headphones and then you can hook it in here as well um, so this one itself and the batteries the AAA batteries are going to go in here um, so for this one um, I'm not too sure what it goes up to because I really don't use this one I normally use the compact one but it's loud it's overly loud uh, it's probably on like five if I listen to it so this would be the good uh, construction uh, trucks and diesel and you know people yelling hammers and stuff like that going saws all circular saws going this is the one that's going to get the job done on the outside application um, <clears throat> It would not have any issues at all uh, with uh, being uh, not loud enough for, like I said, the you know diesel trucks or like even if you're by the highway or something, this one's going to be the best for that one. Um, but um, as far as these three, now I did, I do have the torpedo one. Uh, where it's got the handle, it's it sits like this. Uh, it's a little bit longer, and it's got the handle on the the end of it. That one was kind of a disappointment. Um, I got that one because I was working in an air compressor room, uh, rebuilding some uh, machines, and with the air compressors on, I couldn't hear it almost at all. And I think it only went up to like ten uh, for the volume. Uh, I couldn't hear it too well. I was a little disappointed. That one is, now that one's nice. Um, probably, probably in between this one and the small one. Um, that one's nice because that one's more durable, rugged. That one's meant to be dropped. Um, the, the, the nice thing about it is it's a combination of M12 and M18 powered. So if you're on the job and your battery's running low and you don't have any more M12s, you can charge that one and you can throw a M18 on that one. Um, I don't know the part number of that one. It is $179. Um, so I would probably still go with this one uh, because it's a little cheaper and I think it's a little bit better. Uh, that one was, um, it's been out for quite a bit. I think this is... Other than the Packout version, I think this is the newest one. Uh, I haven't listened to the Packout one. I've heard mixed reviews on it. Um, but as far as these three here, they all have their applications on what um, it is for, for it to be heard. Um, this one is mainly outside. This is your room to room. And then this is kind of the overall. So this one's the best bang for the buck. And this one again is the 295120, $130 by itself with no battery at Home Depot. Uh, that's all I've got with that. Uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and uh, comment 
if you need any other questions, I'll have uh, the part numbers and stuff in the description below. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. See you, fellas.